An auxiliary view in mechanical drawing is created when additional information about an object's features are not shown true size and shape in the primary orthographic views, front, top, or side. In this video, I will demonstrate how to create an auxiliary view in Autodesk Inventor. Welcome back to Practical AutoCAD and Inventor, your source for practical solutions to your problems with AutoCAD and Autodesk Inventor. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe so you will be notified whenever new videos are published. Also, if you have any questions you would like me to answer, please leave a comment below. Now, on with the video. Auxiliary views are often created to show surfaces that are not perpendicular to any one of the normal planes, such as the front, top, or side views. Let's look at this block, for example. If I look at the front view, <clears throat> this inclined surface over here is going to be the surface that is not shown true size and shape in any of the other views. If I rotate it up and look at the top view, you can see that that surface is very much foreshortened. It's not shown the exact or the true size and shape. And if I were to roll it back around and show it from the right hand side, this is a little bit better, but this shape is, this shape is still not true size and shape. And what we actually want to do is we want to look at that surface straight on. <clears throat> so if I were to go to view, for example, and say, let's look at that surface, that surface is now shown true size and shape. And that's what we're after when we create an auxiliary view. When you come to the drawing itself, what we want to do is we want to be able to represent that surface that's true size and shape. So looking at it here, again, here's my front view. And that inclined line right there is the surface that we're concerned with. If we look at the top view, we can see that it is very much foreshortened and doesn't look at all like it actually does. The side view, on the other hand, is pretty close, but it's not quite right. So we want to create an auxiliary view of that surface. The way we're going to do that is by making another view that's perpendicular to that, uh, that inclined line. On the Place Views tab, you will go to the auxiliary tool. Then you're going to choose the view that, that includes that inclined surface and then one of the lines on that inclined surface. Once you get it in there, you can place the view wherever you like it. And don't worry about where it is exactly because you can always move it a little bit later. So I'll put it right here for now. You can see that in this view now that I've created, this surface is shown true size and shape, but the rest of the surfaces are not. They are, the rest of the surfaces are foreshortened. For this reason, it's common to take and show only that inclined surface as the true size and shape. So to clean this up a little bit, I'm gonna come in and just use my uh, tools here, right click and turn off the visibility on the surfaces and the edges that I don't need to see in order to completely describe this object. You can use a combination of you know windows and such to select your objects if you need to. So if I come in here and clean it up a little bit and turn off the stuff that I don't need to see, now what I have is this surface right here is true size and shape. This is what we call an, uh, an, a partial auxiliary view because it's not the whole thing. And again, it's not absolutely required to show that whole thing uh, and because everybody will recognize that it's just that one surface that we're concerned with. So I can put it where I want. And then finally, the last thing that I will do is add the, uh, the center lines to that view. So I'll go to automated center lines and say, I want, you know, in the regular view, okay and then I can simply stretch them out so that they'll be shown the correct size. That's it, pretty simple. 